Welcome everyone. My name is Katie and I'm an educator at the UMFA. For this short art break, we'll be preparing for the Beyond the Classroom Leading in Your Community webinar session by looking at an artwork titled Blue Shadows before a perspective activity. Start by looking closely along the top of the artwork from left to right. Next, trail your eyes down the right side. Move across the bottom to the left side and work your way back up to the top. Now that we've seen all around the edges, sweep your eyes back and forth through the middle of this artwork and observe all the details, paying special attention to color and lines. What's going on in this artwork? What do you see that makes you say that? What else can we find? How is this painting by Utah artist Louise Richards Farnsworth unique from other artworks of mountains? One thing that may be a little different is the use of color. Are there any colors shown that might be surprising to find in this landscape? Looking at all the different colors used, which one is your favorite? While we don't know the exact date of when this was painted, we do know that it would be somewhere between 1898 and 1969. When Farnsworth started, it wasn't very common for women to be professional artists, especially in Utah, but she worked hard and studied in New York and Paris. While she had success with her art in these and other places, she had a studio in Salt Lake City and painted these modern style landscapes. Look at the landscapes that surround you. Utah is lucky to have a full variety, from Red Rock to Rocky Mountains and more. What is your favorite place in Utah? What do you see that others might not? How can your unique view add on to how we all appreciate our state's beauty? Utah is also lucky to have a variety of people and communities. While we may have some things in common, each person has their own perspective and view. Let's do an activity about different perspectives to see how looking at something in multiple ways helps give us a better understanding. For this activity, you will need a paper, pencil, and an object. This object can be anything. You'll just want to pick something small enough that you can place it on a flat surface, like a table or the floor. To get started, create four boxes on your paper by folding it in half horizontally and vertically. Next, you can unfold your paper, grab your pencil, and place your chosen object by the top left box. In this first box, draw a quick sketch of your object. Then for the second box, turn your object 90 degrees to the side and sketch how you see it now. For the third box, turn your object another 90 degrees in the same direction. So now you're seeing the back and draw that. For the fourth box, look down at your object like a bird's eye view so you can see and draw the top of the object. Great work. Each box has a different perspective and when we get them all together, we're able to get a better idea about what we are looking at. It's the same in our community. You have your own unique perspective and voice. We need it and others to add on to a more complete representation of our communities. Now that we've thought more about your own perspective and views, you're ready for the webinar session to learn more about how we can get ideas and perspectives shared in communities.